Hi, now we are going to see how to install Webpack. The first step is create a folder, name it Webpack Tutorial, and we will open an IDE into that folder. We will create an index.html file with some context content like web pack installation and we can run it using this extension named live server that you can install writing live server here in this box box and then clicking here and then clicking here and maybe refreshing the IDE. So after that, you can just press the secondary button on the HTML file and you will see open with live server in the context menu. As you click on it, you will see this file running in a browser because that extension uh, create a server for us and inject into the code as you can see here this code that allows you refresh the page automatically for example when I change the title here adding exclamation mark and pressing control is you will say control s you will see the updated content here so after that you can looking for webpack js on internet and you will find the official documentation or website of this library tool that suggests us create a src folder with an index.js file where we can put an import we can write import data from dot slash data and we are going to create that module ECMAScript says name it data dot js will will that will that will be a constant name data with a string let's say hello and we need to export by default and now in the index folder we can show it Uh, the second suggestion is create a webpack configuration file that we will create using this content which says that there is an entry file which is indexed into the src folder and there is an output file where we place the all javascript compile into the bundle.js into the subfolder dist into the current folder the third step that tell us is add this tag at the end of the body but i don't like this way so i will add this tag in the head in the head but I will place the differ attribute to do the same. After that, we need to look in for installation. And you will see that you need to have installed Node.js. So we need to check if we have Node installed. 
write in node minus b and you will see something like this now you have to create a package json file write in npm init minus y and you will see a package json here and now you can write this command line in order to install webpack and you will need to install also webpack cli after this installation we can run the other one hopefully without any problem yeah and after that you can replace the script uh, part into the package json where you can see the configuration file is pointed into webpack config file and now we need to look in for information about the mode because there are two modes development and production you can do it adding this line into the configuration file or adding this flag into the command cli as i am doing right now and now you can duplicate this command line replacing development by production and build by prod and the last configuration we need to look in for is information about watch as you can see you can configure it out writing this line into the configuration file or you can just add watch in the command line as i am doing right now and now you will see uh, how we are going to run our project npm run build and you will see the development mode now we need to up the project and you will see in the console hello uh, you will see now that this folder was created and the bundle too but if we do something different like run in production mode for example npm run prod you will see almost the same in the console but into the bundle you will see just only one line uh, this is called uglify it and minify it which means as small as possible and if you remember there were two files and there were compressed into just one even in the development mode it is just one but in development mode you will have more code um something interesting about watch functionality of webpack is that you can change on the fly the code and you will see refresh the code in this case in this tutorial twice one because of data file was updated and the second one is because bundle was updated that's why you will see twice hello and the third time you will see the string updated if i press ctrl plus s you will see hello and then hello my friend that's all by now hopefully you enjoy it or learn something and see you in the next next lesson bye